Following the theoretical presentation of the rapid plate agglutination test, this video shows you how an important laboratory performs this test on a large scale. This laboratory uses transparent glass sheets with discs and methacrylate mixers. Several single mechanical pipettes for both sera and antigens. A two or three dimensional shaker and a rhesuscope. All components are brought to room temperature between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius before use. Temperature is constantly monitored in the laboratory with a thermometer probe. Positive and negative controls are done for each series of tests before the manipulation we are going to show you. A series corresponds to tests implemented for one vial of antigen with a specific batch number, one operator and half a day. If any of these variable changes, other positive and negative controls are done. Pipette tips are reloaded in empty boxes with a pack. This reduces the waste of time due to manual filling. SERA are tested with the antigens MG, MS and MM on the same sheet. Thus, serum is taken only once with 0.75 microliters. Then, 0.25 microliters are deposited on three different discs. For the comfort of the operators, lab bins are also placed at the same level as the bench laboratory tops. Pipette tips are changed for each serum. It is also possible to validate that for a same batch of sera. The same tip can be used. Sera are sampled at least 24 hours before testing, but are not more than 72 hours old. The same volume of antigens is added in the discs. There is a specific pipette for each antigen, which is filled up once and calibrated to put 0.25 microliters in each disc. In order to avoid any contact between sera and antigens before mixing, the diameter of the discs is 22 millimeters. Operator, pay a special attention when placing serum and antigen in the discs. When the glass sheet is ready, mixing is done with a specific methacrylate sheet, which has as many number of fingers as the number of discs. So, all the sera and antigens are mixed at the same time. Glass sheets are immediately placed on the two or three dimensional shaker right after mixing. Shaking must last exactly two minutes for poultry sera and three minutes for turkey sera. Chronometers are always used in order to make sure that the time of reading is accurate and also to implement another cycle of rapid plate agglutination tests at the same time. The chronometers are metrologically controlled. Once the shaking is completed, results are read within 30 seconds. Glass sheets are placed above the rhesuscope. The result is negative if there is no agglutination. This means that there are no detectable antibodies of the specific antigens of the test in the serum. The result is positive if blue-violet clumps are visible. This means that there are antibodies against the antigens of the tests in the serum. The sheets are first plunged into a disinfectant solution during 20 minutes and then rinsed with clear water before air drying. The disinfectant solution is a mild bleach solution. Sheets are stored on PVC racks to ease handling during these operations. More than 500,000 tests are carried out every year in this laboratory. Checking the flocks with rapid slide agglutination tests, which generally detect antibodies a week before ELISA, 
has shown excellent results confirmed by the high performance of the company.